Hi everybody, my name is Christy and I just wanted to come on here and share with you a dream um, I had about the Lord's return. I do believe with all my heart that Jesus is coming back for his church. I do believe that we have something to be excited about because we are supposed to be excited because Jesus is coming back for his church. Matthew 24, 44 states, Therefore be also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. I had a dream, I've had a couple dreams about Jesus' return in the last several years, but the most recent one I had about Jesus' return, it came with a word that I do not use, that is not in my vocabulary, that I can barely even pronounce, so I knew that dream was just not myself dreaming it. Uh, I first heard a voice tell me, I didn't see anything spectacular, I just heard, uh, I seen all blackness actually, I heard a voice tell me, Jesus is coming. And then that same voice spoke again to me with very much authority, and it said, Jesus is coming imminent m n it imminent and i was like imminent i could barely even pronounce imminent i said imminent i had to li literally have that sound put in my ears several times so it was like imminent it was a, just a word that i've never used before so i actually wrote it down here imminent i don't know if you can see it because it looks like backwards on my camera about to happen close at hand and near so like I said, that's a word that I don't use. Imminent is something, uh, a word I've never used in my life. I didn't even know what it meant. I had to look it up, and it meant it's about to happen. It's hanging over us. And also in, I got my Bible open here, and 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52 states, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, in the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And there was one more verse I wanted to give you tonight before I close this. Acts 2.17 And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. That's just a little, um, that's just what I had to say tonight, that I do believe with all my heart God is pouring out a spirit upon his people. He's trying to wake up the church. It's time to get ready. It's time to be on fire for Christ. Jesus wants us hot or cold. He doesn't want us sitting on the fence. If you live for Christ, be all the way for Christ. Be in love with him with all your heart, mind, soul, and body. Shalom.